If you don't know my next guest by name, you most certainly know her work. Nancy Shern is the sculptor behind the iconic Make Way for Duckling statues in the Public Garden, recently adorned with their own little coronavirus face mask. She's also the creator of Tortoise and the Hare sculpture in Copley Square, Murder the Turtle in Beacon Hill, Eeyore Piglet and Winnie the Pooh in Newton, and more than a dozen others across the country and around the world. Every one of her pieces has a story behind it. But with her latest project, she's telling a very different kind of story, as laid out in a video that's being publicly released here for the first time tonight. As the COVID-19 virus started spreading its evil over the entire world, and we were sequestered in our homes, I knew I had to do the only thing that I know how to do. I had to make a sculpture. This country to date has lost well over 110,000 innocent souls for no reason but total incompetence, stupidity, arrogance, and egomania. Make way for Nancy Shern as she joins me now. Nancy, incredibly powerful piece of work, and it's a pleasure to have you. Thanks for being here. Thank you for being, letting me be with you and to be on your program. It's, a, it's an honor. So, Nancy, everybody knows your work, but you're not known for political pronouncements. Why did you do this piece? Well, ever since 19, uh, 2019, when uh, Obama left the office, I somehow had to do something. And I found I was doing political pieces. You know, we're all too of two minds. We're sort of of two bodies, two thinkings. There's a very dark side of all of us. And as I saw what was going on with our president and with our administration, I have been moved over the last three and a half years to do a lot of political work, despite the fact that I'm also doing a lot of happy sculptures uh, that you're familiar with or will be. But I was just moved. And when I have seen what's going on with the virus and what's going on with the lies, I had to do something. I'm an artist. That's what I do. I don't know how to do anything. And public art is very powerful. Powerful. You know that. We, all we know, know that. that very well. And by the way, this is not the first, as you said. We're going to show you did this powerful piece uh, about Me Too last year. You know, it's one thing when you create a political work. But, for example, in 2017, when uh, uh, people put those little pink pussy hats on the ducklings in the public garden, obviously that was at the time of the demonstrations against Trump right after the inauguration. Are you OK with that when people, I don't want to use the word tamper, but I will, change your art to reflect their own feelings? Are you OK with that? Oh, heavens no. Of course not. That was a <laughs> wonderful march. That was that was a fabulous march. As a matter of fact, I'm doing a photographic book that will be out next year, and it shows all of what has all the times that these ducks have been dressed. It's called oh, that's ducks, great. and so yes, I'm thrilled. And there are pictures of that sculpture <laughs> all dressed up. Do you do you worry at all about losing some of the goodwill? that you have accumulated this mass of goodwill from people who just don't agree with your political point of view? No, you know, we have to agree to disagree. It's very important. And I don't mind if they want to disagree with me. That's that's their business. And I'll disagree with them back. I'm sure you will. So I have to I told you when I commu I was so honored that you decided to unveil this beautiful, powerful piece of work here. But I assume you don't want it to have a short shelf life of just a few minutes on Greater Boston. Where would you ultimately like to see this have a home, Nancy? Do you want the truth? Sure. The White House. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I hope that Lafayette Park or the White House is uh, welcomes you. But assuming they don't, what where would you like this to be? Where would you like? I mean, I feel I want people to see it, not just the video. And I'm sure you do, too. Where else might you like to see it be? I really don't know. I I, I really haven't thought about it 
All I had to do, all I wanted to do was do it. I had to do it. I had to say what I felt about what is going on in this terrible, terrible time when we're not paying attention to what we should be. Well, I can tell you, it's just I'm not quite an art critic, but I am an art consumer. You said it as powerfully and as beautifully as anybody who has spoken to that issue. Thank you for your work. Thank you for this piece of work. And thanks so much for giving me a few minutes, Nancy. It was great to meet you. So nice to meet you, too. Thank you for letting me be on your program. I appreciate it. It's a great pleasure. Nancy Shern doesn't get much more talented than Nancy. To see the full video, which again has just now been released right here, visit shern.com slash COVID, or you can find it our own webpage at greaterboston.org.